Good day and welcome to today's construction class. Alright, so my name remains Oluwatunbi Blessing Olalekon, the founder of Michael Tech. So for today, we'll be looking into the construction of an ellipse using the approximate method or four points method using the approximate method. All right. So we take our major diameter to be length of 120 millimeters and our minor axis to be length of 80 millimeters. Our major axis to be what? 120 millimeters and our minor axis to be what? 80 millimeters. So I'm going to draw a thin horizontal line in this manner first of all okay then after that i'm going to uh project a perpendicular line to that right in this order likewise also so picking my compass we said our major diameter to be what 120 that's going to be picking 16 from here so picking 60 from here standing at this midpoint i strike an arc left and right like that so I denote it as what mark A and mark B. Okay, our minor diameter to be what mark of 80 mm. So I'm picking what 40 with 40 standing right here. I mark up and what and down. So I have mark what mark C and D. Okay, so applying the approximate method, my next procedure is going to be I'm going to join either AC or what or BC. So I can start from anywhere. So I like going for AC. So I'm going to go for mark A to C like this. I join them with what a thin straight line, a thin straight line. Okay. After doing that, I'm going to pick my semi major axis, which is O A. This is mark O, all right, which is point O A, and that's this point O A. So with point O A, I strike an arc towards the top here. Okay. I strike an arc towards the top here with mark OA. I strike this arc towards the top here. Can you see that? Okay. So this arc is mark what? Mark E. Mark E. All right. So with radius CE. With radius CE, which is this. With radius CE, I was I draw an arc like this, touching this inclined line. So wherever it touches that inclined line, that is going to be what? Mark what? Mark F. So what am I going to do next? I am going to bisect distance AF with my compass. Okay, I do it up, bottom. Then on mark F right here, I do it what? Up, bottom. So the next procedure is to what? Is to join the bisector all together, which is this. Okay, join the bisector all together, which is this. Okay, so joining the bisector yeah so wherever my bisector touches uh the horizontal plane okay that is going to be my what uh my point g okay that's going to be my point g1 okay that's going to be my point g1 so picking my compass from mark o all right to mark g like this so i have what i have a g2 i have g2 Okay, so standing on uh, G2, okay, with my compass right here. Do you see that? I draw, I draw this arc. Let me draw it faintly, first of all. Okay, I draw it faintly. So coming to G1, likewise also to A, I what? I draw it what? Faintly in this order. I draw it faintly in this order. So uh, what's next? What's next? So standing right here, where my vertical line, where my bisector okay where my bisector touches uh the vertical line right here okay so i place my compass right here so unfortunately for this one it touches at point d so for subsequent ones that you might be drawing it might not touch it at point d so don't be afraid so touching point d right here from point d to point c okay that's it so i what i draw as you can see i draw so i can make this one tick since i know my limits now I can thicken it out. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. So I want you to take note of something. Initially, if the dimension for our minor and major axis are actually uh, different from what you use it, this your bisector might actually touch your vertical line, maybe at the bottom of your D or at the top. Okay. So don't get it wrong. 
So this one now, it is just a coincidence that it is what's actually touching it at what's at point G. So wherever your bicycle touches the vertical line, that is where you place your compass on to what, and you extend it to a point C to draw the first one. Then that distance from where your bicycle touches the vertical line to point D, you replicate it on point C here. Okay, the same way we replicate our G1 here to have G2. So you replicate wherever your bicycle touches your, your vertical line and you replicate it on the upper part here. Exactly. Okay, so since this one touches the vertical, touches our vertical line at mark D, then automatically replicating into the other side is going to be on what? On mark C. Then on mark C with that same radius I what? I draw. As you can see, I draw. I draw. So I can now what? Taking out the rest of my what? Of my ellipse. I can think in it out, which is this, okay, and this. Okay, so that is the construction of our ellipse using the what? Using the four point method. So kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.